it's ADRVP here, also known as Ethan, that was my first name, and welcome back to the layout. Um, I know it's been uh, over a month now that I've uploaded the video, that was mainly because I have just returned from my overseas holiday over the weekend and today's uh, Tuesday now. I had recorded a video yesterday but it, uh, I knew I was going to the hobby shop again so I was thinking um, I better just save it up and make a bigger video tomorrow. So today's video hopefully won't be too long maybe. See how we go. I've got some purchases to show you, as you probably can already see. But I've now decided not only to switch up my prototypes, like to separate my prototypes, but also to separate um, the error I run them in. So as you can see, my sidings are uh, completely empty at the moment. Only my container is uh, sitting there, and I got my 0859 and some uh, scrap metal wagons sitting here as I'm running my modern era at the moment. So you can see the 416 two car service running. And uh, shortly coming around this corner is my class 47, running the three coaches I've got for it. And coming around into image now is one of my first new purchases, uh, class 66 and EWS livery. And it's got, um, I believe, about six uh, wagons there, which I'm going to be using for my new facility, which is going to be expected to be up by the end of, um, end of March. At the end of March I got my concrete facility coming here for the little concrete office which will probably sit probably just about here somewhere and I got uh, a modern office to sit just where that tripod stand is so just the base here and a modern office there for my construction team so, and you can also be expecting the engine shed where the tape measure is so that's the three major purchases I want to tell you about that are expected to be towards the end of March I've also placed on order uh, BNSF SD70 Ace uh, the new ones that are coming out towards the end of the year so that should look fairly good I've also got um, some coaches coming in I can just get the bag out just place them on top of this for the time being they're going to be for this locomotive here which I've had for a while um, Athena and just introduced their new line of coaches so I'm going to be getting four coaches for about $130 so that, that's going to be running my Heritage American, so that's good to go. So as you can see, my modern is just about done. I was just looking at the catalogue today for the new Hornby, and I can see that the Class 43, also known as the HST, I believe it is. I might get my classes wrong, but I'm sure I just saw it today. It was um, HST in the Inner City 125 livery. So those of you who don't know, I'm just letting you know now, that is coming out fairly soon. It must be coming out soon in the UK. So a couple months later for us Australian guys down here will be coming out so I will probably be most likely placing an order for that one as well only because I've always wanted a HST it's going to cost me about 480 490 for the power and dummy car both DCC so that's including DCC costs as well as three Mark III coaches for it so that's about 480 for that one so that'll be complete set done for 480 which is a reasonable price considering I paid about 180 plus about 50 odd dollars for each, so 180, 150, so it's about 330. So yeah, it's not that much it's more expensive considering I'm going to be getting one of the nicest trains that Homie ever made, and they make remaking it, so it'll be really good. They're making a few different other liveries, so do check out their website or their catalog. Enough for me about Homie, and I'm now onto my new purchases. And firstly, my main purchase that I always wanted to get was some BNSF. Oh, I can't really see with the glare. Place it down for a sec. BNSF coal hoppers. So it comes in a pack of six, as you can probably tell. Six. And this is the only one they had in stock, so I wasn't that um, pedantic about it. I had to place it all day, get it from America for me, so um, I'm really pleased with it. Okay, so it's got my name on it. <laughs> so I was really happy about that, so I'll just place it down on the ground for a sec. And what's this? Two new purchases. Yes, I got these today. I was going to buy one, but. Why when you can double head these? These were commonly double headed. So these are some class 20s. So it's boxed perfectly. Uh, they're showing both sides. So the bottom one showing one side and then the top one showing the cab on the other side. So they're weathered. You can't, can't really tell with the plastic on it, but they are weathered. I will run them soon. You can see my shirt and my reflection. So I just got these. I got them chipped. And they were, uh, including the chip, they were about 168, I believe approximately 
And I got my Cohopper today, and I'll also be getting SD70 Ace. So uh, I got a whole list of stuff coming in. I, I remember I will try and write it down in the description when I when I got coming in. Uh, what I got coming in, sorry, and when about they should be arriving. So if you guys are looking to get the SD70 Ace, do make sure you place your order. So I'm assuming they will be going quickly as the last range to the BNSF. They were hard to really get in towards the later end of the year. And if I just scoot around down, I'll just show you these bumpers I've got. And they're by Pico. Sorry, just as I was saying, I had the quality video for a sec. So these are by Pico, they look really good. And uh, I was just talking to, at the hobby store, one of the salespeople. And it, for about five or six dollars extra, I can get an uh, LED uh, red light installed onto them. So, which I will be doing, and I will be using all these buffers throughout the whole of my layer, only because they do look really good on the, on the sidings. And with the light installed, it really makes them a bit more modern. And I don't really like any of the Hornby or Bachman um, buffer stops anyway, so that would look really good. The only ones that might be different would be these ones here, but I might end up get not using them anyway, so... Um, I'm still deciding. I'll, I'll obviously get them to do them all at once, and I don't want to cause them a bit too much pain, so... I have to count on how many I'll need. I'll probably get a couple of extra just in case I decide. But... There's my class 70, running beautifully, I haven't had any problems with him. So he's just been sitting there in the container yard, only because I want to run these three fleets at the moment. Track's going alright, probably needs a good clean maybe. Um, I'll probably be installing a bit more feeder wires. So these class 20s will be running um, with my freight, uh, run, obviously running freight service on the uh, middle line, so they'll be look pretty good. I'll hopefully probably open them and show you another video. And I'd also like to um, thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, my subscribers have just increased over the last month or so to now 65, I think, or 66. And one of my videos has over 5k views, so which, that's really good to hear. That obviously means uh, some of you guys are really enjoying the videos. And please feel free to comment below any questions or anything you have. Or anything you'd like to see, maybe, I'm not too sure. Or if you have any um, queries that I can help you with, or if I don't end up helping you, I'm sure someone in the comments will. Uh, us smaller trains, um, fanatics, we like to we like to help out each other when we can. So if you do have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'm trying to answer it to the best of my abilities, but if I don't, I'm passing it to someone who has a bit more knowledge than myself. So yeah, this is um, the layout as it is. Towards the end of March, the layout updates will be a bit bigger because I have a bit more stuff to show you and I'll probably install the structures one by one, giving you a good detailed outlook about them. But I'm really happy with these class um, 20s. They're weathered. They look really good. And they will, they will run really well. I've run, I ran it quickly in the store. Run perfectly, so double head them. Probably with about an 8 or 9 car rate behind it. They look really good. So, uh, I'll probably will be running that uh, at the same time I'm running my class 25. So the class 25 will be running its passenger service, the class 20s on this line, and the class 105 on this line. So that's yeah, it's about it's about pretty pretty well done. And um, also, if you guys have time, have a look at home these new um, new products I've been introducing. Uh, if you guys. Uh, into any of your steams and all that. They have uh, quite a few limited edition packs out at the moment, which I'll be looking into as well. I'm not really sure if I should go with Hornby, but I'll see how it goes. I'll have to, I'll have to try. It's not that expensive, so that's really good to know. But, yes, yeah, so that's this video probably wrapping up pretty soon. We'll be posting a subscriber video later on this week, hopefully. A little bit of surprise for you guys, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Just want to, my way of thanking you guys for 50 plus subscribers. I did miss out on the 50th subscriber, I'm sorry, but I was a bit busy packing and planning to go overseas because I did get it before I went overseas. When I was overseas, I was just getting more and more emails saying, oh, this person subscribed to you, this person subscribed to you, which is always good to see. And yes, I do take knowledge of my subscribers. I, I do normally check out their page. Um, see if um, see their videos, if you have any videos, I do often subscribe to them as well, so uh, feel free to uh, subscribe for subscribe, so I do like to enjoy watching my videos, I have over 250 subscribers myself that I um, subscribe to, 
So yes, I do have a lot of time up my sleeves and I try and try and watch most of you guys' videos. I do miss out one or two videos, uh, it's just the way it is, either I'm working or studying or something or rather and I just miss accidentally miss out on it. But um yes, so if there's any any other questions you guys have, please comment below and I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, hopefully I'll I'll do some work maybe today or later on this week and I'll try and get up lay it up to scratch. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys have been really enjoyed the new purchases as well. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So um, uh, happy modeling and all the best. Alright, bye for now.